Hi, my name is Dana Brown. I'm Zojo's Director of Marketing. If you're just discovering Zojo now, it is a cross-platform development tool and programming language for making apps for the desktop, web, iOS, and Raspberry Pi. In this tutorial today, we're going to see how we can use the San Francisco font glyphs in our macOS apps. As you can see in this app, we're using these symbols for the buttons, including the tinted ones, and also in the list box where the first column shows every available symbol in the font while the second column displays the associated name. In fact, this is the name you can find when using the SF symbols utility from Apple. As you can see, every possible symbol has an associated name, so you can use that and get that particular glyph in your own macOS apps, as you can already do with Zojo iOS apps. And we have another video for that if you wanna see how it's done. Um, so how do we achieve the same thing on macOS? For this tutorial, we created a simple Zojo class that is named SF symbol, and where the class constructor creates a new dictionary with the symbol names hard-coded as the dictionary keys and the symbol's Unicode point is the one associated with such key. Then the shared method names is the one responsible for returning all the keys as an array of strings, that is all the glyphs names, while the shared method name is the one we use to retrieve the code point for a particular glyph name passed to the method as the parameter. So using these two methods, we can populate the example app's list box, simply iterating over each name from the array found from the sfsymbol.names method and adding next uh, the glyph itself using the sfsymbol.name method in the first column and the glyph name itself in the second column of the list box. As for the buttons, we have two options. We can simply set the glyph as the caption for the button calling the sfsymbol.name method with the glyph name as the parameter or we can also tint the buttons caption glyph using the color for button caption method that expects to receive the pointer to the button uh, that we can get through the handle method and also the tint color as the parameter. When inspecting that method code, remember that you can download this example app from the link published in the video description. So when uh, when inspecting the method code, you can see that there are some declares involved in this functionality. As you know, the Zojo's declare instruction allows us to call functions from external libraries uh, like macOS frameworks. In fact, we're using here calls in Objective-C to the foundation and AppKit macOS frameworks. So working with these selectors in combination with the handler of the received button is, is how we're gonna access the underlying, underlying button caption in order to assign the received color to the text previously converted to an NS color instance. This is the selector we can use in order to create a new NS color instance from the red, green, blue, and alpha given as parameters. And here is what we call that selector providing the expected values from the Zojo color received as one of the parameters for the method. To summarize, as you saw, this simple class allows us to access any of the SF font symbols by their names, and we also exposed a way you can use it in order to tint the caption text for your buttons or other Zojo controls, as you can see right here. And because this is a font, we can use every symbol at the desired size without any quality loss. I hope this video was helpful. Please smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for notifications when a new video is posted. And if you have comments, please post them and we'll answer any questions that you have as well. Bye.